Welcome to ICL Snake Master. Our expedition today started with a call from some friends from Tamil Nadu. They were doing maintenance work at a house when they saw snakes in the yard. They promptly called me. I got here as fast as I could. It's late evening. No one seems to be around at the moment. We are waiting for someone to arrive. We don't know where the snakes have disappeared. A lot of stuff is lying piled up around here, as you can see. Locks and pipes and waste. Our guests must be hiding somewhere under these piles. They are saying the snakes crawled under these logs. Let's see. These are Arika palm logs. Uh, do you have a torch? Well, well, clearly our trip up here was not futile. The snake is right here and it's most definitely a cobra. So the workers tip off was spot on. They didn't give us a false lead. But we have to set about our task quickly because it's raining heavily. As I said, it's late evening and with the heavy rain, it's getting dark. The light bulbs here are not working either since the maintenance work is on. Time to introduce our guests to our viewers. Oh wow, not just one. There are two cobras. We have two guests here. It's the mating season but that doesn't mean it's a male and a female. It could be two males who have come looking for females. He's trying to wriggle out when I move the logs. There are swarms of ants here. They are darting into his eyes. But he is not too bothered. From the look of it, our guest here is a pretty awesome creature. Here he is, impressive indeed. My guess is he is going to be my best find this season. He is no baby. He is full grown and very healthy. Must be at least 12 years old. Our other guest has still not come out of hiding, but from what I can see, there is a telling difference in their colouring. It could be because this one here is about to shed his skin. He seems terrified. He's on the defensive, looking quite aggressive. Maybe the workers had hit him to scare him off. guest here is really long, a six-footer. Let's meet our next guest. But first, we have to get him to come out. Here he is. Oh great! It's a female. Both of them look equally good. The one in my left hand is the female. The female must be about 10 years of age. The lady is proudly raising her head. This guy here is a little dull. He has suffered some sort of attack. I can see a swelling here, a bump. That's probably why he is unable to raise himself up. He's eager to get away. I am happy that we made it here today and found these two. The workers can go about their work tomorrow with an easy mind. The female has a very impressive hood. But we can't see the male's hood as he is not raising his head. It's possible that the female had bitten him. There is a wound at the back of his head. Anyway, we have caught them both. They are both mature snakes, which means a bite from them can be deadly. They are extremely venomous. If bitten by a cobra, you must get immediate medical help. Allopathic medicine is the only antidote for snake bite. You should never ever go to a Vaidyan or try any herbal remedies. Traditional medicines are a complete no-no. Go to a proper hospital with all facilities because you will surely need the help of a ventilator. There is only one medicine for any type of snake venom in India. 
it is known as mixed antivenom or common antivenom or polyvalent antivenom breathlessness blurred vision and tongue paralysis are some of the symptoms of snake bite i can see a scar from an old wound on the mid cobra I think it will be a good idea to put our male guest into a bottle or a sack. He's hurt, so let's not trouble him further. We have safely tucked away one of our guests into a sack. Well, the female also seems to have suffered some injury to the bone. I can feel it when I hold her. She was also probably hit or beaten. The female is a little younger but has a really well formed hood majestic in fact as i said earlier there is a striking difference in color between these two this one here is yellowish brown whereas the male has white tones along with yellow and brown We must remember that November to mid January is the mating season of cobras, rousel vipers and other such snakes. February March is the time when they lay eggs. The eggs hatch by April. So remember not to leave piles of dry leaves or trash heaps around the house. Cobras can lay up to 30 to 40 eggs depending on the male's health. When the snake master team tells you not to harm snakes, it doesn't mean you can keep them as pets all we are seeing is they have the right peaceful existence so please don't try to imitate what we show on this program to keep venomous snakes away spray kerosene or diesel around the house once a month especially during the november december january months oh we are almost done here look at her she is a beauty all smooth shiny skin before we call it a day let's get her to join her companion the container has enough air space they are comfortable i got several more calls while i was here so let's head to another destination and meet more exciting guests